Hey everyone, how's it going and welcome to my 3-tick mining guide. In this video I'll do my best to educate you all on the mechanics of mining and how to properly 3-tick mine for the best XP rates. This guide will showcase iron mining and quarry mining with a focus on quarry mining since that's where you'll be spending most of your time to get 99. To start off I'm going to explain everything that I know about the base mechanics of mining and how it works from under the hood. Many of you probably already know what a game tick is, but just to clarify, a game tick is 0.6 seconds and is the shortest period of time in which anything can happen in RuneScape. Everything in RuneScape happens on a game tick, and everything that takes a certain amount of time to complete takes a certain number of game ticks. When people talk about 3 tick this or 2 tick that, it means that an action is being completed every 2 or 3 game ticks. Tick manipulation for mining is a bit different than fishing, woodcutting, or hunter, because mining is at default a 3 tick action, whereas the rest of the gathering skills are not. Fishing is 5 ticks by default, woodcutting is 4 ticks by default, and setting box traps is also 4 ticks. For those skills, using an item like tar to shorten the cycle to 3 ticks makes sense in how it would make them faster. You can catch a fish every 3 ticks instead of every 5 ticks, or chop a log every 3 ticks instead of every 4 ticks. With mining, if you're standing in front of a rock and you begin to mine it, you will have a chance at getting an ore every 3 ticks without having to use any tar or anything else to manipulate it. Mining by default is a 3 tick action. This means that at places like the motherload mine where most of the time you're mining from one spot, trying to tick manipulate would make pretty much no difference. Tick manipulation for mining comes when you're moving between rocks. With things like iron or granite and sandstone, you're likely to succeed in mining them on the first attempt and have to move between rocks very frequently. Moving between rocks isn't actually moving to a different map tile and not just turning around to a different rock takes extra time. From successfully mining a rock and clicking to a rock adjacent to a different tile, it will take 5 ticks until you get your first attempt at getting an ore from that rock. It's worth noting that moving two tiles takes the same amount of time as moving one tile, since you move two tiles per tick while running and one tile per tick while walking, and if you only move one tile, you will walk. Tick manipulation when used for mining is used to shorten the movement time between rocks down to 3 ticks. This can be accomplished by starting a 3 tick action cycle such as creating an herb tar just as you finish mining a rock and are about to move to a rock adjacent to a different tile and then moving to that rock. This action cycle is started as you start moving rather than after you stop moving like it would be if you were to just click to the next rock. So the action cycle finishes as soon as you get to the next rock, cutting out some of the time it takes and speeding up mining rates very significantly. First, let's look at a clip of 2 SGG mining without any form of tick manipulation. Now let's look at a clip of 2 SUG mining with tick manipulation. Now let's look at a side by side comparison. As you can see, 4 ticks or 2.4 seconds were saved in that cycle by using the tick manipulation method. Two ticks were saved when moving the first time, and another two ticks were saved when moving the second time. Understanding the mechanics of the method is important, but actually learning how to do it is the primary focus of this video. As far as gear and inventory, just copy what I have in these clips. I'm wearing Prospector with a Varrock top, Steam Staff for imbues, and Desert Amulet 4 for Desert Heat Protection. If you want more info on each item I have and why, see my 1 to 99 mining guide. You need to have Swamp Tar and at least one type of clean herb. Make sure you don't have more than one of the same type of clean herb in your inventory, or it will open a chat box interface asking how many you want to make, which will make this method impossible. For 3 tick 2 SUG, you have to use your tar on an herb whenever you are moving between two map tiles. The important part of getting it to work properly is getting the timing right. You have to click the tar on the herb and click the next rock on the same game tick, or it won't register in time and you won't get the 3 tick. The clicks have to be pretty quick, and it just takes practice to get that down. You can tell whether you're doing it right or not by paying close attention to your timing and your character's animations. If your character begins the pestle and mortar animation as they begin to move to the next tile, then the timing is correct. If your character begins the pestle and mortar animation before beginning to move to the next tile, it means you click the next rock too slow and the game didn't get the command to move your character until the tick after you began the herb tar creation. You will get to the next rock too late and the three tick won't work properly. Something useful to keep in mind is that if you know that you can't click the tar and herb in the next rock in the same tick because you delayed slightly, you can wait a tick and do it all in the next tick after that. This can take some timing precision but can be helpful at times. If you're just learning you may want to start by just doing a few back and forths of 3 ticking without any dropping and drop your inventory all at once when it fills up. You don't want to be doing this for the long term though as it will slow down your XP per hour. You will have to drop ores while moving between rocks as well if you don't want to lose any ticks, which makes this a bit more difficult. 
The correct timing for ore dropping is right after you click the tar and herb and the next rock. You have a two tick window of time where you can drop ores before you have to click back to the next rock in order to still get it within the three tick cycle. The total process is to combine herb and tar, click the next rock on the same tick, drop ores in your inventory, and then click back on the next rock within two ticks after that. Once again, that's tar, click the next rock, drop, click back on the next rock. One other thing that's important to know in mining is that the dragon pickaxe has a chance to two tick an ore instead of the normal three tick cycle. I'm not sure why this is, but it does happen fairly often. You will only notice this when you're turning to a rock, not moving to a rock, since starting a three tick action cycle and then moving to a different tile to finish it can never be shorter than three ticks. When first practicing three tick to SRG, I found the two ticks actually very frustrating, because although it does save a tick, it's very hard to react to them to actually take advantage of that save tick. Most of the time it's a very even 3 tick cycle all around, and when it's slightly faster you aren't really expecting it. Because of the 2 ticks I often messed up the 3 tick timing and it actually slowed me down, so my solution to this was just to ignore when I 2 tick a rock and wait a tick before moving on, evening it back out at 3 ticks. This is pretty easy to do once you've got a feel for the timing because it will be very consistent. That's pretty much all you need to know for 3 tick to SRG mining, the rest is just practice and muscle memory. From here I'm going to move on to the 3 tick 4 granite method. If you fully understand how 3-tick mining mechanics work, then it shouldn't be hard to understand from here. It normally takes 5 ticks to mine a rock that is 1-2 to two tiles away from you, but that can be shortened down to 3 ticks with herbs and tar. Before herbs and tar were discovered for mining, an arrangement like the 2SUG spot was better than this 4 granite spot because at 2SUG you alternate between 5 and 3 ticks per rock, whereas at this 4 granite spot it will be 5 ticks for every rock. Even though sandstone gives less XP than granite, being able to get rocks every 4 ticks on average instead of every 5 outweighed that in terms of XP per hour. Since that's not an issue with herbs and tar, granite can be mined every 3 ticks continuously if you use the herbs and tar between every single rock. This is significantly more click intensive than 2SRG where you have to use herbs and tar only every other rock, but the XP per hour is about 20% faster. Everything that I explained earlier about the mechanics of 3 ticking and stuff still stands, you just have to do it more. Getting the cycle started here can be a bit difficult. There are two ways to do it. The first is to just click your first granite rock, wait until you mine it regardless of whether you get it on the first attempt, and then one tick after you successfully mine it, you tar herb and move to the next rock. This loses you one tick on startup, but is easiest. The second way is to wait three ticks after you begin mining and then tar herb to the next rock regardless of whether you succeed your first rock on the first attempt. Getting this timed correctly can be a bit more difficult, but I found that the easiest way to do it is to look at your character's pickaxe animation. The third tick starts as they're lifting the pickaxe up from the first swing, so that's when you should move to the next rock. After that, just keep the cycle going. If you don't succeed a rock, don't wait until you get it, just keep moving. It takes no more or less time to wait in front of a rock than to just keep moving to the next rock because each attempt is 3 ticks regardless. If you know that you messed up, just start over by doing one of the two startup methods at the next rock you get to. If you fail a ton of rocks in a row, it could just be bad RNG, but more likely it means you just messed up a cycle without realizing it, and once again you just need to restart. It took me many hours to get the muscle memory done for this even after doing a lot of XP with 3 tick to SGG. It can be annoying at first, and you will always misclick here and there no matter how many th hundreds or thousands of hours you spend doing it, but it is very fast XP. You may want to take it once again one step at a time by first practicing without dropping and then later begin to incorporate the dropping into the cycle. One small thing that I found useful here for how I angle my camera is to turn off the minimap orbs. This can be done by going to the advanced options in your game settings. When clicking up to the southern granite rock I would misclick on them sometimes and turning them off clears up that area to make things a bit easier. Another big thing here is camera zoom and angling. I chose to keep my camera always south north and always kept the three main rocks flush with the side of my inventory. The camera does move on its own over time, which is very annoying when doing this method, so you have to keep adjusting your camera accordingly to try to get it to be as good as it can be. You may choose to be a bit less obsessive about it than I tend to be and may find a totally different way to do it that you like, but that's how I would always do it anyways. Osbody Unlock Zoom can also be good to be able to zoom in further than standard zoom. Four granite mining is definitely one of the more challenging skilling methods to learn and maintain, but it is very rewarding when you get to the point of being able to do it consistently. The last method I wanted to touch on briefly in this video is 3 tick iron mining. There are a few spots around RuneScape where this can be done. The best spot is in the Wilderness Hobgoblin Mine, and it's arranged similarly to the 2SGG Quarry spot. You'll only have to tar herb every other rock. The disadvantage here is of course PKers and waiting on the de of the Hobgoblins. 
The spot I'll show in this video is at the East Ardoin Mine. With this spot you'll have to tar herb for three out of the four rocks, since there is a set of two adjacent rocks to one tile, and the other two are separate. Mechanically, iron works the same as quarry mining, so I won't go into detail on how it all works, but I would say in terms of difficulty this spot is on par with four granite mining. Having the paired rocks is nice, but the arrangement of them is kind of awkward, and especially clicking to the northernmost rock can be difficult since it's such a far mouse movement. This is the fast way to mine iron though, and rates can get over 70k an hour at high levels. I recommend doing this method until around 70 mining, and then switching to 4 granite if you want the best rates. The advantage of doing this at lower levels is that you get the practice of 3 tick mining, and then 4 granite shouldn't be too hard to pick up. So that's pretty much all I can impart about 3-tick uh, mining in RuneScape. Hopefully this guide has been helpful to you guys, and be sure to leave any further questions you have in the comment section below. But I think that's going to about do it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys all later.